Hey guys, what's going on? It's Caleb here. This is just a video to sort of give you guys a context as to what I'm doing with my Volvo. It's a 1980 242 GT. I got it for a pretty good price and it came with a set of VBS RS reps. So those were the wheels I sort of wanted to put on it anyways. So I was like, I was pretty stoked. So some of the mods that I'm doing to it include adding on a turbo. Uh, I've already got the turbo. It's a King Ogawa or however you say that, um, T-O-4-E. It's, it's kind of a big turbo, but for the sort of 400 horsepower range, which is what I'm aiming for Volvo builds, it's the typical turbo that I've seen most people use. Also going to put in a lumpier cam. I've got... Uh, a turbo back exhaust, probably two and a half or three inches, not 100% sure yet. I'm switching out the two fuel pumps for a single bigger fuel pump. Uh, I've already got that one and it's a Warbro 325 litre per hour fuel pump. I've got a full set of adjustable custom made coilovers from uh, Kapol Hanky Racing, which is a company based in, I believe, Colorado, um, USA. Also, changing out the mechanical fuel injection that came in the GTs for an electronic fuel injection which came on all the later model Volvos with the same engine. Do some head work, like uh, ported heads, I suppose. So this is just a small list of the mods I'm planning on doing to the Volvo. Um, gonna make it sort of like, I, I guess I wouldn't say like a stance build, but just like a lowered daily build that's probably lower than your average functional build although it's still quite functional because the roads around my house are way too bad to lower my car too much also Australian laws are crap if you live in Australia you know what I'm talking about laws on modifications here are insanely strict and it sucks but hey uh, what are you gonna do about it so yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing with the Volvo, and uh, I'm hoping it comes together like I have it in my head, but then again, it's a, it's a project car, and the classic saying goes, there's always something, so who knows, I guess you guys will have, just have to watch and keep up to date and find out uh, how this thing will end up going along. Alright, hope you enjoy the video guys, and don't forget to like comment and hit that subscribe button and um yeah enjoy so yeah guys uh it's 8 a.m and i just got to my mechanics but i've been told that i'm not supposed to be here until hello okay how you going yeah anyways i got told that i'm not supposed to be here until 8 30 so um I'm going to go grab some breakfast because I didn't get a chance to get any breakfast before I uh, got here. And uh, I'll see you guys back here at 8.30. How nice is this Cressida though? I don't know. Something about it. So we got the head off, but we're just struggling on one stupid bolt on the AC compressor because it's stuck on so tight. 35 year old bolts. This bolt right here won't come off. Tried prying it and it's stuck. So we're gonna try to find a breaker bar or something to get that off with. Just quickly while we're waiting to get that wrench or whatever, I'll give you a quick walk around in the car. Although this tarp is tied down, but obviously it wasn't tied down well enough. This is my 1980 Volvo 242 GT that we are restoring, me and Dad, along with the help of our mechanic, or rather, we're helping him restore it. So, the outside has a couple of uh, bad spots, but the engine was okay, just had a cold start problem, but we got it for a steal, so that's not... A problem, especially considering we are refurbishing the engine and turboing it. So we've uh, stripped it down to a rolling shell here. You can see all the lights are out, all the trimmings are off the outside, and 
The interior is all still there, but the outside is pretty much all gone. Uh, so that we can sand it back, bog and fill the bad spots and, you know, patch up all the rust spots and whatnot. And yeah, fix it up and make it look all nice and stuff. Alrighty, bolt is out and we are about to take the air conditioning hoses out and uh, get this whole compressor, compressor set up. Yeah, taken off. It's going well so far. Alright guys, just a quick run through of what we've done so far today. Get the head off, head in the turbo and manifold and whatnot. We've got the AC compressor off. Uh, We've uh, undone all the heating lines and the fuel lines in there. Um, gotten it pretty much uh, to the point where the next step is to just pull that engine out and uh, you know tape everything and mark it up as to what it connects to. And um, yeah, then we can start the refurbishment process of the engine, which is cool. Here's the turbo and head set up, as you can see. We've got the uh, T04E turbo, this nifty little custom stainless steel manifold, which is pretty nice. Yeah, and we've got the head, which at the moment, I believe has the, uh, the uh, what's the name, uh, the B cam or something like that. Had a K cam in the old head, but I switched that head out for the 531 head. So you can see, barely see it, but yeah, 531, got the 531 head. Got the T-cam sitting at home that's ready to go in. Coilovers are here at the mechanics storage shed. Uh, all the parts of the body are setting up in a little resto shed that Shane, my mechanic, has set up to, uh, for projects just like this. So yeah, it's all really starting to, I guess you know, move. Been sitting for six months doing nothing. But yeah. No, it's uh it's moving along now. So gonna do some uh turbo supporting mods. Uh but hopefully this little thing uh will help me get to my goal of doubling the horsepower this thing makes. So yeah. You can see the AC compressor sitting there and the uh, alternator sitting there and that AC compressor was an absolute bitch to get off. It took me forever. But no. Yeah, it's um really happy with where this is going. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.